we are in the midst of a gigantic paradigm shift around how we even be with each other. So unconditional, I don't know if I necessarily completely believe in it as, as like unrefutable law, like someone can be unconditionally loving forever. Right? I think that there are conditions, right? We got married and there are conditions to that marriage, right? Who she married, there's a condition to that. Preston. But do you think that conditioning, that, that requirement for those conditions to be met really are in line with the consciousness of the individuals that are in that relationship? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's a conscious agreement yeah. based on the level of consciousness that's brought to the table. Yes. Right? So we believe that love is unconditional, love in and of itself. Yeah. But relationships are very conditional. Yeah. Yes. Very conditional. And, and even the smallest things like, do I love this man? Yes. Is that love unconditional? Yes. Is our relationship conditional and based on a Agreements that we mutually make together, of course, of course. How important are those agreements to be conscious of? Do you think that's oftentimes where we get into conflict? Is where we have yes. our conditions yes. because it's from our wounds. Yeah. So a lot of a lot of the conditions for relationships are based on our wounds, are based on our programming. Like you right? can't do this because it'll hurt me. Yes. Yeah. Those things go unexamined. Yeah. We don't actually go. Do I still choose this? And because like, where did I get this? Yes. Yeah. Where did that come from? Yeah. 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 Like, wait, whose rule is that that yeah. I'm following? Yeah. A man should. A woman should. Right? And, and all of that conversation, the shoulds and the expectations that are based on the environment that you grew up, the religious sort of, even if you're not in a religion, the, the religious sort of rule of that country or that place all dictates how you show up in a relationship. So to have conscious standards is everything so like this is so true for us because we're constantly in our own work and we're constantly looking into and investigating our own consciousness yes. then our agreements shift because our own consciousness is deepening if i'm recognizing like oh shit, i have a pattern that's been playing out that i'm just acknowledging right now <laughs> and I, I get that that pattern has created a certain agreement between us whether conscious or unconsciously stated and agreed upon i'm not going to bring that to him and say babe I just realized that that one thing I do is based on this story and this wound from when I was five. Yeah. And I'm not committed to that wound anymore. I'm committed to my greatness. Mm. So let's recreate a new agreement around you holding me to my greatness and me holding myself to that. So it's constantly doing this. Wow.